next tab that we want to go over is the order history tab. If I, when I click on the order history tab, it's going to tell me about the orders that I have placed previously. For example, I have this order that was placed on February 24th, 2010. I have my order ID that shows here, the order total, and I also showed that it was shipped out and the date. The shipping method was priority and I was given a tracking number. If I click on the tracking number that's given to me, it opens up a new window and it takes me to the shipper's information. So this was placed through USPS. Here's my tracking number and it lets me know detailed results. You can also take a look at order details. If I click on order details, it's going to give me some additional information about my order. I'm able to see exactly what products were ordered, the quantity, the price, and down at the bottom you will be able to see your order total. If you'd like to be able to print an invoice, you can do so by simply clicking on print invoice and then setting up your printer options as desired. Moving along from the order history tab, we also have the address book. The address book can be used to direct ship cards. In order to enter in new information to your address book, you can simply click here on this tab. Then I can type in all of the information for the person whose address I would like to enter in, and then I can save the address. You can search through the different people in your address book up here at the top, either searching through all, or if you only want to see anyone who starts with K, then you can type that right in there. You can also edit current information by simply clicking on edit. You can also delete addresses if it is the incorrect address or if it's a duplicate or if you just no longer need it in your address book. Now we're going to go over these tabs here at the top of our page. We first have the My Photos tab. The My Photos tab is where you're going to be able to upload photos to your Heritage Makers account from either your computer, a disk, or a jump drive. Once everything loads up in the My Photos tab, you have the option to either create a new folder or a new album, or you can add photos to an existing album. A folder is going to hold an album, and an album is going to hold photos. You're never going to see photos in a folder. You will always see photos in an album. The folders are a way to be able to organize your albums. For example, all of these listed here, these are folders. However, if I click on any one of these, it gives me a little drop down and shows me any of the albums that are included in that folder. Once I click on that album, that is when I'm able to see photos. Once you've clicked on an album, this allows you to add more photos to your account. To add more photos, simply click on add more photos and then you're able to choose where you would like to pull the photos from. As mentioned previously, you can pull photos from straight off of your computer. You can pull them from a disk, a CD, or a jump drive. You simply need to locate where the folder is that you're trying to upload from. Once you've found the location of the photos that you're trying to upload, you will need to select the photos. If you're trying to select multiple photos, you can hold the shift key down on a PC and then select all of the photos within a group. So first you'll see that I selected this photo. Then if I hold the shift key down on my keyboard and click on this one here, it's going to select all of the photos within that range. If I would like to be able to select only specific photos, I need to hold the control key down. So say I would like this photo here. I'm holding the control key down as I do this. I want this photo and this photo. So I did that by holding the control key down and clicking on the photos that I'm interested in uploading. Down here under the file name are the names of the photos that I'm uploading. When I'm ready to upload them to my account, I simply click on open and you'll see here on the right hand side, it gives me a progress report of each of the photos. 
it is only going to upload two photos at a time, but once all of those photos are uploaded, it's going to show you that album and those new photos that have been entered into that album. Some additional options of things that you can do with folders and albums is you can rename them. I can come down here in the lower left hand corner of my screen and click on rename. I can then choose a new name such as test2 and then say rename album and then if I click on the folder that contains the album that I just renamed it's going to show me now that it is called test2. If you would like to be able to move an album from one folder to another you'll need to select the move option. If I click on move it's going to ask me where I would like to move this album to. So right now I have the test2 album highlighted and it's asking me which of these folders do I want to move it to. I can select that I would like to move it to this option here, this one called hello. Then I can move the album. Then if I come here into hello, I see that test2 is now listed there instead of being listed under this option here. Something else that I can do with a photo album is that I can select that I would like to share that album with someone else. In order to do that, I click on share, and then I will need to enter in the email address of the person that I would like to send it to. Simply type it in. You can include a personal message if you would like, and then simply click on send invite. By clicking on send invite, it's going to send an email invitation to the email addresses that you entered in. When they receive that email, there will be a link for them to click on and they will be able to view that album. The last option is the delete option. This would allow me to delete an entire album. I also have some additional options of things to do with individual photos here in the upper right hand corner of my screen. If I click on this one photo, for example, I have the option to copy that photo and move it to a different album. I can also move the entire photo to another album rather than just making a copy of it and I can delete a single photo. So keep in mind that these options here at the bottom in the lower left hand corner of the screen are going to deal with folders and albums whereas these options here in the upper right hand corner of the screen are going to deal more specifically with the photos individually. Next we have the My Projects and Templates tab. By clicking on the My Projects and Templates tab, it's going to open up a window for me to be able to view all of the projects in my account. The first type of project that I'm going to be able to see are all of my projects that are in progress. This means that I am currently accessing or working on any one of these projects. I also have the option to view my completed projects these are projects that I have completed and may or may not have sent into publication. Lastly, we have the My Templates tab. The My Templates tab is where you're going to be able to see all of the different templates that have either been shared with you by another user or that have been uploaded from the template gallery. You are able to filter through to find certain projects the same way that you were able to filter through them in the template gallery. For example, I could select that I want to show all prints and I want to show 50 projects on a page at a time. Now it makes it very easy for me to be able to scroll through and find the project that I'm looking for. In order to edit a project, you simply need to click on edit or you can click on the title or you can click on the thumbnail version of the project. If you would like to do a preview of the project, simply click on view. If you'd like to make a copy of the project, click on copy. You can also rename a project by clicking on rename, and you also have the option to delete a project.